Hi everyone, welcome to my studio and minutes on the mat. Today we're going to do a mini workout with the foam roller. I'd say fundamental slash intermediate. So grab your roller and let's get started. So I'm going to start my supine position. Knees are going to be bent. I want to make sure that I can move my foam roller all the way behind me without hitting my riser. So I'm good. All right. So we're going to start with some movement in the shoulders. As you inhale, hands are on the outer edges, reach it over. Exhale, again, over, just opening up those shoulders, nice shoulder flexion, and inhale, and exhale, and one more, inhale, and Exhale. Take it all the way over. Get a nice stretch and then bring it right back up to the ceiling. Hold it there. Give me one pelvic curl. We inhale. As we exhale, we're going to curl all the way up. Now hold this position. Let's reach that roller right to the top of the thighs. Inhale there. And exhale, slowly roll and reach it all the way back. Again, we inhale, we exhale. So I'm using that roller kind of as a tactile guy. I want to bring the pelvis all the way up to where that roller is each time. I inhale there, I exhale. Again, I breathe in and I inhale and and we'll do two more. Inhale and inhale there and and one more time, inhale, and hold this position, reach the arms all the way back, and we do some slow marching. Take that right leg up and bring it down. Left leg up and bring it down. Trying to keep that pelvis in that same spot. And up and down and up and down. Let's do one more each side. And last one. Hold, lift just a little bit and then slowly rolling it all the way down. We draw those knees one at a time, tabletop. We go into our spine twist supine. Anchor the foam roller to your floor. We inhale, take those legs over. We exhale. I get a nice stretch through the front of my shoulders. Over and again. I may not be able to go as far because I don't have the arms to help stabilize. And again, over. And center. Again, over. Not letting my back excessively arch. Keeping those abdominals working. And last one. And come back to center. I want you to lift your upper body as you exhale. And inhale lower. Last two. And last one. Now hold it there. I want you to place it on your shin. So you're going to find that position and they're not going to move. You're going to keep that pelvis nice and quiet. Take the hands behind the head. Add your rotation. 
and center and rotate and center exhale rotate and center legs are still pelvis is still and center exhale inhale center stay lifted exhale inhale center we have three more sets rotate and I'm watching that roller I don't want it to drop and two more sets and one more set last one to my left come back to center draw those knees in a little closer try not to drop that roller lift your body a little higher take the roller lower the feet reach them out reach the arms over we go into our roll up and we're going to add a flat back to it so i inhale i lift i exhale i come forward i inhale up and nice fluid movement again i inhale i exhale i lift up, rounding, and rolling. Again. Inhale. And this roller starts to feel heavy after a little bit. It's like using a weight. And down. Let's do two more. And I inhale. I lift. I round and roll and last time stay lifted this time straighten the back and then take the roller and you're going to place the back of the top of the heel I'd say more closer to the ankle on top and just even it out Go back to that C curve, legs are together, and we roll down. If you need to readjust, go right ahead. We draw that right knee, tabletop. We go straight up, flex it, we go into your leg circle. We inhale and exhale. Two more. Reverse it. One and two. So I can't really anchor with my leg. I have to anchor with my trunk. Do one more for me. I lost count. Bend that knee. Lower it down. Switch sides. So I'm going to anchor this right pelvis down. Pull in with this left side. I'm just checking to make sure I'm in the right position. I take that leg up. Dorsiflex. I inhale and exhale. And three, and inhale last exhale reverse it one i could feel my right leg wanting to let go and four two more five last one and now point lower it down reach those arms back behind you palms are facing up we go into a chest lift inhale as we exhale, we lift. We're in this position. We're going to go into our hundreds, but we're going to just float just one leg up. We inhale there. We exhale, pump. In two, three, four, five. Three, two, three, four, five. Four, two, three, four, five. Five, two, three, four, five. Switch legs, two, three, four, five. Seven, two, three, four, five. Eight, two, three, four, five. Nine, two, three, four, five. Ten, two, three, four, five. Hold, stay there, flex those feet. Dorsiflex as hard as you can and then point and flex 
and point, and three, and point, and four, and point. One more is five. Hold it there, turn the palms, and all the way up. Bring it in, and we go into rolling like a ball. So we're gonna grab the roller, we're gonna pull it in. So I have it on top of my shins. I'm gonna draw those knees in. I hope I don't fall down. And inhale as I lower. Exhale. Again. Inhale. Again. For me, added a challenge. Three. Again. Four. There we go. We have to find it. Five. One more. And hold. Lower the feet. Hang on to your roller. Roll down on your back. Lift your pelvis and place it underneath. So it's right on my sacrum. Right about there. Hands are here. We're going to do our hip work. Tabletop. I lift those legs, flex it, turn it out. I go into my down circles first. So let me go ahead and I'm going to skip the frogs. So as I exhale, I lower those legs to where I can. I bring it up and around. Again. Just readjusting. Two. Three, making sure they come right to my mid sagittal line. Four, and last one. Reverse it. I open, go around, and up again. And up, and three. And four, and five. Flex the feet and frog. And I always say to my clients, imagine that you have a fishbowl on those feet. Don't drop the fishbowl. Keep it steady. And again, inhale. And exhale. Again. Don't spill the bowl. And let's do two more. Inhale. And one more time. And both feet are pointed. We do a little rollover. So what I want you to do is you're going to bend the knee. This is a really nice way to work on it with your clients. As you exhale, take your legs out, inhale to 90. So we're going to start from this position. Bend your knees as you go over, just like that. Breathe in and then come right back down. So we're taking out a lot of the choreography. Control, control, control. Bring it in. Take it out. Bend it in. And now we'll do that exact same thing again. So let's reach those legs. We're going to reach them up to the sky. As we go over, allow the knees. Use the arms a little bit. Inhale there. And of course, if there are any spinal issues, osteoporosis, we're not going to be doing this one. Tabletop. Let's do it again. From the tabletop, we take the legs out. We take them up. We bend and curl. Breathe in and slowly. And last time, reach the legs, take them up. This is nice if somebody has tight hamstrings. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and lower the feet. Lift the pelvis, stretch the front of the hip joint, hip flexors, and let's take that out, reach it over, 
And we go into our one roll up for our transition. We inhale and exhale. Flex the feet, open. Inhaling, exhale, spine stretch. And as you inhale, I want you to straighten that back. And then go back to that position and roll it up. Two more like that. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Find your ski slope of a back. And over and up. Last time. And now reach this flat back. Hold it there. We're going to do a little bit of rotation here. Rotate one. And center. And two. And center. And three and center, and four, and center, and five, and one more, and center. Bring it back to that flexion and roll it up. Bring the legs together and stretch forward. You need to bend your knees, bend your knees. Reach, reach, reach. And now, everybody, bend those knees. We're going to come up onto our quadruped position. So the hands are going to go on your roller. Make sure that you're not dropping them too far down. We don't want too much hinging at that wrist. And so I'm here. I've got my quadruped. I'm going to make sure that I'm pushing away from that foam roller, right? I don't want to sink. We're going to find that. You're going to step one foot back, step that other foot back. You're in your plank. Hold that position. We have our front support. As you exhale, and out, and two, and out, and three, and out, and four, and out. Solid in that body. Five. And out, and six, and out, and seven, we're doing ten, out, and eight, and out, two more, nine, last one, ten, and hold. Now, all I want you to do is let your scapula glide towards each other, and then abduction. Serratus is working. We let it go, but then we widen it. Again, letting it go where we don't want to go, and then we're going to activate those muscles. Again. And some people, I think, call this serratus push up. And one more. Hold, make that back a little bit longer. If you need to tuck your pelvis, tuck your pelvis. And then gently bring your knees in. Walk the foam roller forward. Hinging at that hip joint and stretch. Stretching the shoulders. And now take your right hand and you're going to thread it through. You're going to get a nice stretch and breathe. And and then other side, reaching, and all the way. And then bring it all back. Come down onto your abdominals. And just want to make sure I'm not too far forward. And here. All right. So we're going to start with our basic back extension. So what I want you to do is do a small lift. I have my wrists on my roller. I'm going to lift up just a little bit, just a little bit. And then I'm going to bend those elbows, reaching them out to the side walls. I'm going to press it forward and then lower it down. Again. I lift it up. I bring it in. I reach it forward. And down. Again. I lift it up. I bend. I reach. 
one more like that. And then I lift, I bend, I reach it, and down. Now let's do the first half. So we're going to lift. We're going to bend. We're going to stay in this bent position. I'm going to move my hands just a little bit. Hold it there. I want you to take your right hand to your right hip and give me a small laterally flexed spine. And then bring it back. And other way. Over. Reach. And back. Again. Reach. And bend. Again, reach and bend. One more, reach and last one, reach and straighten those arms and lower. We go into our larger swan. As you inhale, start to lift. You're going to take it to where you can, to where is appropriate for your back. And lower it down. Again, I'm going to bring my hands a little bit narrower. The legs can come slightly apart. Just make sure you're still using the adductors. So as I inhale, I start to lift. I try not to overuse my glutes. I lift, 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 lift. And reach forward again. I inhale. Think of my rib cage going forward. I got that cue from rail, one of my favorite cues. I think of it every time I lift. And three more. I lengthen. I'm reaching forward as much as up. And last two. Bend the elbows, bring your hands onto the mat, pull back into your rest position, and stretch. Breathe, let the pelvis move side to side, and gently roll it up. And that's your minutes on the mat. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.